I've never played Destiny, but I'm a sucker for gimmicky meme products. I'm not exactly sure where the jokes about getting that bread within the Destiny community originated, but the Yotun rifle from the game has been compared to a toaster due to its box-like shape. During a live stream charity event, they announced that if a certain goal was reached, they would attempt to make an official toaster. Let's see, we have a notification from uh, our producer behind the scenes about the, uh, what is this Cosmos, 700, the 777 milestone? Okay. Um, what about it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, can I, what is can it? I say this? <laughs> if we hit 777 thousand seven hundred and seventy seven dollars and seventy seven cents we will uh strive to offer an officially an official destiny toaster through the bungee store <laughs> and griffin amazing. even during his time off with his family is still texting he says does it look like yotun <laughs> <laughs> wonderful well something to look forward to um th that's it Almost. Oh, we did it. That's it. Uh, $777,940. And, and chat goes nuts. We get a toaster. We get a toaster. The product page says the live stream where this was first mentioned took place in June of 2020. But the VOD that I found on Twitch says that it was on July 7th. The toaster became available for pre-order the following year on June 17th, along with this promotional video. I guess a lot of people were pretty disappointed that this didn't even remotely resemble the Yotun rifle and is just a regular toaster. Not only that, but they decided to charge $85 for it. One person on Reddit found the manufacturer pointing out how cheap these can be purchased at wholesale. Even with a custom paint job, the unique emblem that it burns onto toast, licensing, and markup, it's hard to imagine it coming anywhere close to justifying uh, the $85 price tag. At face value, it just sounds greedy. It also comes with a, a little sandwich holder. One of the community managers did issue a statement basically saying that the concept images people had shared were great, but it would have been too time consuming and expensive before reminding everyone that this was for charity. I get that it was all in fun and for a good cause, but as someone on the outside looking in who has no attachments to this franchise whatsoever, I think I'd be pretty disappointed too. Putting a toaster inside of a custom shell is certainly feasible, and not anywhere near as difficult as they're making it sound, which I'm sure fans would have been willing to pay more and wait longer for if necessary. It's a ridiculous idea to begin with, and the end result should have been equally ridiculous. I think Bungie simply underestimated the expectations here and really failed to execute this properly. There are some things that you know you just can't compromise on. Pro tip, by the way, if your toaster doesn't appear to be working, make sure that it's actually plugged in.
There are a total of seven cook times on the toaster and here is a look at how each setting performs front and back. I made sure that the toaster was completely cool to the touch between each toasting to paint the most accurate picture. And don't worry about this bread going to waste. We have some hungry squirrels that occasionally stop by for dinner and they'll eat just about anything. Toasty! Well, that's all I got for this video. I have a very smelly kitchen now. And um, thanks for watching.